let me show you how you can do active campaign import. I will show how to import contacts, deals and accounts into active campaign. There is a native solution to import contacts into active campaign directly from another app or from a CSV file. However, unfortunately, there is no native solution to import accounts and deals. But you can try to do that with Import to Wizard, a third-party import tool. There are two options of import into active campaign. Set up CSV import of your deals, contacts and accounts or import data directly from another cloud app. We start with an import of accounts from a CSV file. If you want to see how to import directly from another app, it's on 3 minutes and 40 seconds in this video. To start with, go to import2.com A free trial is available there. You can use your Google account to sign in. After I logged in, first thing is to add Active Campaign Connection to Import to Wizard. I go to menu in the upper right corner and click Add New Connection and then I just uh, copy API URL and API keys from my Active Campaign account. To do Active Campaigns import, I select the feature called CSV import. Here I do the setup, I select from the drop down Active Campaign and then uh, I select accounts and upload a CSV file with accounts. Watch our video how to create a CSV file if you don't have one uh, before import. Find the link in the description. Then match data between CSV file and active campaign account fields. This is called mapping. Map the columns, fields you want to import. Once you have mapped the fields, press continue to start the import. You can also import contacts and deals into Active Campaign from a CSV file following the same logic. Then you get a preview of which accounts are imported into Active Campaign with direct links to open and verify data. You have an option to rate your import experience. We appreciate your feedback. Now you see imported account in active campaign and you see that you can map more fields during the import to import more data if you wish. Another option is to import data into active campaign without CSV files. I will show you how it works. We will set up deals import into active campaign directly from another app. In your Import to Wizard dashboard, select App to App Import this time. I will import HubSpot deals as an example, but your deals might be in any other app. On the next step, first select an application you are importing from. If you haven't done it already, add a new connection. I have done it already, so I have uh, HubSpot in the list. And then select uh, Active Campaign the app you are importing to. When doing import, you have three options. You can import new records, add new deals, it is called import. You can update existing deals with new data, called update, or select a combination of those two, import new deals and update data on the deals you have already in Active Campaign. This is called absurd. I will use the first option to import new deals.
On the next step, I use drop-down menus to select data fields in HubSpot, the app you import from, and the corresponding field in Active Campaign. This is called mapping. To start with, map the deal title and value. Also, Active Campaign requests each deal to be linked to a contact. Make sure that in the app you import from, in HubSpot in my example, deals have contacts connected to them and that you have contacts in Active Campaign account. To create links between deals and contacts, I map the field contact from the lookup field category and select the full name here. It means the wizard will find contacts by full name in your Active Campaign database. I also map the deal owner and deal stage under the category lookup fields. You have an option to find and replace values if they don't match between two apps, like here for the field deal stage in Active Campaign. I type in the values I want to replace from the field in HubSpot with the existing values in Active Campaign. Active campaign requires currency to be defined for all deals you import. While importing deals, you can assign one value for any field on deals. Go to setting, set default value, select currency and type in the value you want to set up for currency for all deals. So once again, to import deals into Active campaign, it is required to map currency, deal value and title, deal stage related contact and assign deal owner. Now your import of deals is set up. Click start import and continue. On the next step, you preview imported deals with direct links to open them and verify in active campaign account. That's it, you have learned to do data import into Active Campaign. You can also import contacts and accounts into Active Campaign directly from another app following the same logic. Subscribe now to our channel not to miss videos about import and export of business data.